Good morning, YouTube. Good morning, YouTube. And Facebook, if I post it on Facebook, I might just do a separate video, but I say both now because I am I am on both platforms. First, let's before anything, let's give all honors and worship to my father, your father. If you truly serve him, you follow his commandments and serve him. And his commandments is love him with all your heart and soul and mind and love thy neighbor as you love thyself. And that is the first two important commandments as our Messiah Jesus to Christ Yeshua HaMashiach Yahshua HaMashiach you know whatever you call him gave when he came was sent from above to do the ministry here on earth 2000 plus years ago and I say plus because it might get out before you know the overflow of his 2000 years The Holy Spirit is a powerful spirit. And I got to say this, and I got to constantly say this. And I'm not saying this to hurt anyone's feelings. I'm saying this to kill off those demonic folks that got you thinking otherwise. A lot of people are so afraid to come out and speak. If the Father called you, believe in me. Believe me now. Believe me. Whatever the Holy Spirit, the, whatever the Holy Spirit pregnated in you, it's going to produce out of you. You cannot sleep on the Holy Spirit. You cannot sleep on him. And what I mean by sleep on him, you cannot ignore the gift that he pregnated you with. You can't ignore it. No matter how you try to ignore it, you can't ignore it. You can't ignore it. It's a gift from the Most High. It's the Spirit of the Living Father within you. You will know and I'm going to say this. You will know if you have the Holy Spirit. He's not going to just stand there in front of you, which you can't see him anyways. He's not going to stand there in front of you and whisper to you and say, you have the Holy Spirit. It's time to get some real spiritual senses here. You don't know you're chosen. You don't know you're going to, you are um, chosen by the Most High. If you chose him, you're not ordained. He chooses you. That's how the kingdom of light works. The Father chooses you. The Son prays to the Father, which is Jesus the Christ, pray to the Father. And if the Father approves, he'll send you the Spirit, the gift. Now, majority of people have it a thing of there shouldn't be women preachers. I agree. If that woman got a husband, I agree. I agree. I totally agree. A woman shouldn't speak in the church if she have a head. If she have a man, a husband, that loves Christ as Christ loved the church, she wouldn't want to speak. Because she have a lion. You feel me? She don't have to speak. She don't have to put herself in positions of a man. She don't have to put herself in positions of the duty of the man of God. She wouldn't even have that thought in her mind to do so but that's only if you got a man of God that loves Christ as Christ loved the church do you know how beautiful that man would be our Messiah was beautiful 
He had no gall in his mouth. He was compassionate. He was understanding. He was loving. He was strong. And not strong going around knocking those Pharisees out. No, not that strong. That's a demonic strong. He stood up and he spoke. But see, the father know what he's doing. The father know who he called. The father know the future for his children, his chosen children, the adopted children of the Most High through the faith of our Lord Jesus Christ. See, we go off of faith. See, we don't know what tribe we belong to, but we are the seed of Abraham. Regardless if anybody tell you different or not, that's, that's on them. Just like those Pharisees come up against our Messiah on a regular, talking foolishness, earthly devilish things. You get what I'm saying? No man woke you up. You got to understand it. No man can give you the Holy Ghost. You got to understand this. No man came from another nation and said you're baptized with the Holy Spirit. Our Father, which arts in heaven, have the power to touch me, you all the way over there in Mexico, you all the way over there in Turkey, you all the way over there in Jerusalem, you all the way over there in Egypt, you all the way over there in Ethiopia, 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 I think I'm saying that right, Ethiopia, <laughs> I guess. Japan, North America, South America, our father, is the powerful one. Powerful. He calls all shots. And he awakens who he want to awaken. Like he said, your thoughts are not my thoughts. Your ways are not my ways. I can do whatever I want to do. The earth is my footstool. He can use who he want to use. If he can use a donkey, he can use a woman. Because evidently your men ain't getting it right. You ain't getting it done right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not being mean and I'm not being, you know, smart or, or sarcastic. I'm being honest. Um, every day when, the, when I first was called in 2019, I ain't understand. I ain't understand. I had to be converted slowly. Slowly. Nobody told me what I had going on. I never grew up in no gospel. I certainly didn't trust nobody because I've been broken and abused in all types of form abuse can come in. So I didn't believe and trust in no one. Because people turn on you. People will turn on you. You can hang with each other all day long. But them people will turn on you. They will try to stop you from moving forward. They will smile in your face all day, every day. But eventually they'll turn on you. All these men, supposed to be men, you're men in flesh. But you're a fragile, innocent broken child within it's a child trapped in inside mamas especially those jazabelic mamas you holding your sons back from their true purpose you are hindrance to the father you will be moved your son's gonna be moved and you're gonna be moved if you don't go and get it right I want to read you this. And I'm going to break it down. And then I, I got to go to the show. Jude. Joel. I mean, y'all say it. Joel, Jude. I said Jude. Joel. Jude. 
Joe, Joe, or June 2, 27. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel, and that I am the Lord, your God, and none else. And my people should never be ashamed. Do you hear it? My people should never be ashamed. He is our father and no one else. There is no other but the most high. Anything you going through, he taking you through it for a reason. Don't look at it as he don't love you. He's strengthening you. Because Satan ain't somebody you're going to just sit there and have a cup of tea with and a piece of cake. No, it don't roll that way. You're going to have poison, rat poison, stuffed up in that uh, cake. And you're going to have rat poison powder stirred up in that tea. That's how Satan operates. He, he don't come pure. He come deceitful. 28. And it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams. Your young men shall see visions. And also upon the servants and upon the handmaids in the days will I pour out my spirit. And I will show wonders in the heavens and in the earth, blood and fire and pillars of smoke. The sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before that great and terrible day of the Lord come. Do you hear it? This is the word. And then you go over to Acts 2. Fifteen. I was in my fasting last night. And this is what the Father gave me. Fifteen. Acts two. Fifteen. For these are not drunken as ye suppose. Seeing it is but the third hour of the day. But this is that which was spoken by the prophet Job. This is where the father took me at last night. I did not know this is what I was going to read. I just wrote it down and reading it. So this is the first time I'm reading this verse. Even though I probably read it before, I didn't have, I didn't pay it any attention. This is this just blow my heart. I'm telling you right now, if y'all can feel my heart, it's pumping extra anxiety, spiritual blood right there because this is amazing. <laughs> this is amazing right here. But this is which was spoken by the prophet Joel. That came from the Old Testament to the New. See, that's why it's so very important that you read the Old to understand the New. Because those prophets back then were speaking what was coming to pass. They were prophesying years before we even seen this. See, this is what you got to understand. And it shall come, this is 17, and it shall come to pass in the last days, saith God, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and you old men shall dream dreams. And see, when he first said it in Jewel, he had the old men would dream dreams, and the young men would see visions. And Acts said the same thing. And these people in Acts never met Jewel. So the Father, when he works in you, he collaborates everything together. And on my servants and on my handmaids, I will pour out in these days of my spirit and they shall prophesy. Same thing I just read earlier. And I will show wonders in heaven above and signs in the earth beneath, blood and fire and vapor of smoke. The sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before that great notable day of the Lord come. That great and terrible day. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Ye men of Israel, hear these words. Jesus of Nazareth, a man approved of God among you 
by miracles and wonders and signs which God did by him in the midst of you as ye yourselves also know. Him being delivered by the determinate counsel and foreknowledge of God, ye have took it and by wicked hands have crucified and slain. Slain. Which, I mean, whom God had raised up, having loosened the pains of death, because it was not possible that he should be holding of it. And I'm, and you can go on down and read more. And I promise you, thank you, Holy Spirit. I love you forever and ever and ever more. Ooh, I feel like just jumping out this car and running beside it, but I know that's not possible. This is serious. If you are truly baptized by the Spirit, you are nowhere to go. Fasting is a must because you can connect with the Holy Spirit more better when you just praying. And, I mean, repenting and praying, that's, that's really good. But when you want to get a deeper connection with the Father, you got to fast. You got to take away your food. You got to take away your water. You got to meditate on him. I love to fast at night because I can hear him a lot more um, clear at night versus if I fast during the day. Like I was saying in my prayer last night, I said, Father, I was praying and I was praying about something. And um, I can't tell you what I was praying about, but um, I was praying about something and um, I told the Holy Spirit and I start laughing and I couldn't stop laughing in my prayer. I said, Holy Spirit, I, you got to lead me. I can't lead me. I can't lead you because I don't know where I'm going. You know where I'm going. So I cannot get in front of you. I definitely got to stay behind you because I don't know where I'm going. So I, I fell out laughing. I thought that was really, really, really um. Her, uh, hilarious that I said that I didn't know where I was going but it was true you know it was all true I have no clue where I'm going you know where I gotta go so you gotta leave me and you gotta not you gotta follow because if you don't follow you can run yourself into a brick wall the flesh wants you to run into a brick wall that's why the flesh war against the spirit we're not in a church I'm not in no church jumping around. That's why the father made this internet for the way he wanted to make it. See, a lot of people got so many uh, speculations of what that what the father moved like. Oh, the father told me this. Oh, the father told me that. No, you got to listen to the words that come out of people's mouths. That's what these are for. These are for the will of our father. This ain't for to just run around and gossip and entertain each other on the phone lines. Because I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. It's going to blow right back up in your faces. The things that you do to others is coming right. Satan going to send to somebody else to do it to you. That's why I always tell people you got to be very mindful. And I mean seriously mindful. Especially when you're not saved. When you're an empty vessel. You have no prayer life. You have no repentance coming out of your heart. You have no fasting of your life. You have no reading of the word. I don't care if you go to church. That don't mean nothing. That's where demons say that of the most. The ones that go to church and pretend they're reading. Once they get out of church, they're going home and they're back to square one. They're living in the flesh. That church stuff is over for us. The synagogue game is over. You might as well just cut that short. The synagogue game is over. We don't want to hear I've been in church 70 years. I don't care if you've been in church 100 years. If you is not baptized by the Spirit, if you are not born again, you will not see the kingdom of the Most High. That's John 3.3. 3. You're not saved by just saying Jesus Christ is Lord. He died and he risen and all that. No, 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 no. Once you confess something like that, and I mean confess something as such as Jesus Christ is Lord and you died and you believe he risen, Honey, if the Father know you really mean what you say, he will give you your heart's desire to be saved. But you got to put in work. You just can't say it and just sit around, just attend church on a regular basis. Half of y'all just go to church because you're bored to death. I mean, I'm being honest. Half of y'all go to church just because you think you're smart. 
half of y'all go to church just to uh, stroke your ego. That's been going on for years. I seen a show yesterday, and I got five more minutes. I seen a show yesterday, and I'm going to say a show. It was actually um, a guy calling a younger guy up there to put him on it, and I guess to teach him. I don't, I don't do that interview stuff. I don't do it. I don't do the interview. I want you to come on my channel. I don't mess with interviews. I would not do an interview. You would not interview with me because it's always a trap when you interview. When you interview, if you look at people that put people on their pages and try to interview them, no, I don't do interviews. I'm straight for my own platform. And I would not bring somebody up here elsewise to interview them because I don't know their opinion and we ain't on one accord. And I, and I, uh, 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 I do my own platform. I got called alone. I, I went in the wilderness alone and I will speak alone. When the father sent me one of his sons of his kingdom, then my husband would do the speaking and I do the, the back work. I'm his helpmate. That's it. But other than that, I move alone. I don't do the interview stuff. And this young fellow was doing an interview with this older man, but be as though he know how to speak in Greek and he know how to recite the Bible and he know how to do this and he know how to do that and he done studied it and he done studied it. He gonna tell the other guy he had he was arrogant, but he was arrogant. See, you got to watch how you speak about the word. You cannot sit there and call people out. The only reason why Jesus called those Pharisees out because they were be, they were tempting him. They were tempting him. If we're gonna teach, and I mean, I like to teach younger women, even though they got that, uh, you know, that little snapping and the, the snapping of the neck and the little snapping of the teeth. That's fine. I dealt with a daughter that was way more harsher than any young lady. She gave me pitch nerves all over my body. <laughs> I'm sorry for them being honest. She gave me pitch nerves all over my body. I'm telling you what I know now. Mm. But I learned. I know how it rolls. But I didn't give up. I'm never going to give up. I was called by the Father and I'm going to move by His will. And that's the Holy Spirit within. The Holy Spirit pregnated me to speak. I'm going to speak. I ain't going up and debate about the word of God. I don't do such a thing. And that's what was going on yesterday. And I see this a lot on platforms. If you're going, if you're going to speak about the word, come and help save folks. Don't sit there and down folks. Get angry with folks because they don't know. When I first started out, I was blind as a bed. I didn't know either. I had to learn and get in the word and allow the Holy Spirit to take me away from everybody and get me in the word and start reading. And if something do, if something I still don't know, I listen. And then I'll go back and ask the Holy Spirit to help me research it. I'm not going to sit there and jump all up in conversations and I don't know what I'm talking about. I know how to be quiet. That's how you learn. Just keep your mouth shut. That's why it's not good to do interviews and jump on an interview with somebody because then they can make you look uh, shamefaced it, and that's not what you're supposed to do in, as children of the Most High. You're supposed to be humble and meek and compassionate and teach that. Teach what the Holy Spirit gives you to teach. The Holy Spirit is not sarcastic. The Holy Spirit is not evil. The Holy Spirit is not arrogant. The Holy Spirit is not prideful. The Holy Spirit is not angry. The Holy Spirit is not a boaster and a bragger. The Holy Spirit is none of that. The Holy Spirit is of love. He is beautiful. He loves to teach. He got the most humbleness teaching. He's very humble. Very sweet voiced. It. So how can you all how can you all just because you got a million views of people? You act like that. You are God now. See, you got to watch it. You got to watch how you move. 
because you wasn't noticeable or you wasn't recognized in your childhood or you wasn't recognized in your coming up. But now that many people desire to watch you and many people desire to follow you, now you, you're getting boastful, you're getting prideful. You got to watch that. And if you're a person that just love to hear what other people got to say or you go by what other people tell you to do or you follow your mama, your daddy or your sister or your brother, they have no type of um, good motives for you. You're in trouble. You are in trouble. That's my mama. She gave me a place to live. I got to listen to her. You shouldn't be living with your mom at a certain age. You shouldn't be listening to nobody but the most high and his son. You should be coming out of your sins and out of your miseries and doing the things that you're supposed to do for the most high. We're not on this world to entertain Satan. We're not here to entertain him. We're supposed to be here to stop him, not entertain him. We get our wisdom from the most high. We don't get our wisdom from man. I don't care if somebody been in the Bible 50,000 years. If you're not my Messiah, if you're not the Holy Spirit, because our Messiah is the mediator between the Father and the man. So guess what? You got to go through him to get to the Father. There's no other way around it. None. But people just want to be people because they want to follow Satan, but they're pretending that they're following the Most High. If you out of order, you out of order. Read the word. Read the word. You'll get all your answers in the word of God. You don't have to go to this um, minister or that bishop or that elder or that prophet. Because, honey, half of them are not what they call themselves. It's the A. You can say, oh, they, they know what they're talking about. Yeah, they know what they're talking about because they're reading it from the word. But do they spiritually know what they're talking about? Just because you know what you're talking about don't mean the Holy Spirit in it, is in inside. It ain't like the Spirit, the Holy Spirit telling you because Satan know the Bible. Satan know the Bible. He was up there with the Father once upon a time. He know how it moves up there. That's why he twisting it down here. You got to know what you're doing. You got to know who you're following. And right now, you don't need to be following anybody. You need to be following our Messiah, the King, Jesus the Christ. So he can show you all things. And, and, and allow you to deny yourself, kill out their fleshly thoughts and get in these spiritual thoughts. And it takes time to do so. But it ain't about debating and who's the smartest because the father don't use smart people. He used the ones that uh, is weak and, and, and naive to the word. So he don't use the ones that think they know the word. He used the ones that's naive and weak to the word because I was naive and weak to the word. He used me. And I'm not going to back down. I don't care how many pastors say, oh, woman don't supposed to speak. The father called me. He baptized me with the spirit, not you. That's just period. I'm going to speak. I move alone. I live alone. I work alone. Everything I do is alone. I meditate with the father on a daily alone. And I'm not afraid to speak what the Holy Spirit give me. Not what my flesh give me, but what the Holy Spirit give me. And what the Holy Spirit give me is not foolishness. It's not sarcastic. It's not arrogant. It's not prideful. It's not egotistic. It's pure. And it's love. Empathy. It's so full of love. You got to know the difference. You got to know the difference. If you don't know the difference, you won't be able to tell the difference. Because there's so many people speaking loud, so you don't understand who is what and what is who, and why is this and why is that. See, a lot of them use the word to intimidate women and children so they can abuse them sexually, mentally, spiritually, and physically. This is the danger of women and children in the world. That's why we're called, chosen to help you build faith, become strong, and focus on the Father, not on this world. Women, you got to focus on the Father. You got to focus on the Father. You got to meditate on the Word. You got to repent. You got to fast. 
and you got to instill it in your children or you will always be prey to the world. Blessings to each and every one of you. So much love, so much love, so much gratitude, so much love for humans, especially women and children. Blessings.